Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already signed up and subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. When you do, be sure and tap on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Today we're putting up a new video over here at Six Cycles in Mentone, California. Al Korf, my good buddy. What's up? And we thought we'd show a bike. I've been threatening to do it on the channel. I said, you know, if we get a chance before Born Free, we'll try to show a bike or two. And here is one that Al's in the middle of building. No, he's not in the middle. He's actually nearing completion on it. Let's, <laughs> let's look at it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's stay positive. <laughs> sure. But here it is. This is Al's shovelhead chopper, rigid frame, bad to the bone. Uh, Al, should we start on the other side? You want to start at the back or start at the front? Uh, yeah, you want me to kind of run you down on? What, yeah, what let's we got start going? at the let's start at the back and go forward. Okay, well, it's a. Uh, how about this? Let's just say I had an idea. You know, it's not like the traditional chopper that I normally. You know, I was going to ask you that. Yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> I, in as nicely as I could yeah, put yeah, it, yeah. I was going to say, Al, <laughs> what were you thinking? Yeah, <laughs> like in one sense, it's kind of the bike of my childhood, you know, uh, in the other, I was kind of thinking like... This is a disturbed child. Yeah, yeah, for sure, you know, kind of an 80s, 90s uh, pro street meets sort of like an outlaw chopper. It's kind of like where my head was at here, so um, SoCal you know, performance machine, your favorite, you know, and that was kind of the base, the wheels, first thing. Got these uh, billet chicane PM wheels with the dual disc setup, and the I had a NOS PM dual caliper back here. Come check this thing out, Mike. Yeah, this is very cool to, Pretty to look crazy. at here. I really like the way you drilled the bracket. Yeah, that, that, that thing was in the blister packaging. Check this out. I mean, it's like, the thing is old, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, it was cool, like, finding this, finding this, don't all this kind those. of stuff. Oh, yeah, don't worry. I got to put chrome ones on anyways. <laughs> uh, it was kind of a, you know, trick finding all this stuff, like, with the the PM rotors, PM brake. Pre I mean, even the freaking, you know, a little mount was uh, in the blister packaging. Sure. So it was kind of cool. And then um, modified PM uh, forward controls uh, to set, uh, you know, to be like a mid control this setup. This is a very, this is a very neat piece here. This is a, a Let, torque arm and you even kept the torque arm lettering yeah, on it yeah. after you cut it all up. It was all ball, ball milled and stuff. I grinded all that shit off and uh, re-drilled it out so well, it matched for, the rest of the stuff. Well, for those who don't remember or aren't old enough, I remember when this was product of the year. What and, year? Oh boy, <laughs> had to be just had to be out. the late eighties. Yeah, late eighties, early nineties, maybe. And everybody was building FXRs in those days. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the idea was, here's the motor really held together on the left side, yeah, yeah. and not on the right side. Well, a lot of the bikes still had a seat post, so it wasn't just FXRs. Totally, anything that had a seat post. You didn't have any real coupling here. Sure. Which never was a problem until we started making big amounts of power. Right. And and that's as it continues, you know, the constantly more power, more power. It made me feel good to see that you even thought of putting one of those on. I really like it. Yeah, I I my I Originally, the plan was I was going to put the master cylinder back here on a plate that kind of flowed around, kind of like an FX style mint, mm -hmm. and then maybe even modify just the stock FX to fit on this Evo five-speed transmission. But then I went to the Hamford swap meet last weekend, and I picked this part off the ground for five dollars. So when we came back, I had Machi, my you know my buddy, working with me all last week on the controls, and he was like, "We should just use this. It's perfect." And well, we, it's cool. You know, it's an, it it was for an Evo motor, and this is a generator motor, obviously. So you know, we had to adapt it to fit, and it hangs into the uh, with some spacers into the cam cover and into the uh, into the transmission covers. So came out pretty bitching, I think. I like, like this piece of the frame. I like being able to see it. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, the frame is 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 really the best part of the bike. My my buddy Ben Jeff in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, made this uh, uh, frame. Wait, did I say that right? Is that the right? Fort story? Wayne, Indiana. Yeah, is that Indiana? Is that, yes. is that where that is? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, 
he builds awesome bikes and awesome frames and I've wanted one ever since I started seeing him. It's all rusty now. Sorry, Ben. It's going to be beautiful shortly here. Well, but, you, uh, you, you've got a lot of wonderful pieces that, that kind of, that kind of hit me, you know, that not, yeah. not everybody feels about them probably quite the way I do, but I do love using this early five speed setup. I so always that love got, that cover. Well, you've got an external cable now. You don't have to take this thing apart on yeah. the road to replace a exactly. cable. Exactly. I love the ease of the side of the road. Kind absolutely. Of stuff. You can get absolutely. At it. The other thing is this cam cover. I oh, yeah. love that cam cover because I love using the, the late style uh, mm -hmm. ignitions exactly. and, and all that Electronic stuff. Electronic ignition. Uh -huh. And then, you know, uh, this case has an alternator left case. Sure. So we. Put this. I got this cool from the swap meet. I don't know who made it, but um, drag specialties or something. Maybe you know. What is an empty can? No, it's an oil filter. Oh, you know, I think I, I you cool just now, just remember. I never said this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I did say it, I would say I heard somewhere that that somebody had a had an empty one of these. It actually used an empty generator case. Oh, cool. So when the alternator in the left case first came out, yeah. nobody knew there was an alternator in there and assumed this can on the front, which right. looked like a generator, which was perfectly empty. Right. So it, it gave you a place to hide your sandwich. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> your burrito. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. you go. Anything like that? Yeah, it's kind of just keeping with the period, you know, the parts, you know, I, I seem right. I'm going to do a lot of the anodized red and blue fittings with braided steel lines, for the AN fittings all throughout the whole thing. That'll be after, you know, it gets painted and stuff like there. It's a Super B carburetor with a Super Bowl and Thunder Jet. It's all polished out. Things That's wonderful. Cool. I and then I'm working, this is the backing plate and the holder, you know. I had not seen one of these. Hopefully, I'll be enough. The motor's oh, 86 yeah. inches. It'll so be it'll be more be, than adequate. Yeah, I, lo I love Super B carbs. They're like the coolest. I S &S carbs, I so. remember well before the E's and the and the yeah. G's came out. That's what everyone ran. Yeah, yeah, was yeah. Was the Super B, except me. I was running an SU. Of course, of course. My least favorite carburetor. No offense. Uh, but <laughs> when you grow up, I'll show you how to how to adjust them out. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, for sure. we don't go my send. Beard's a, only this we don't long. go send. A, we yeah, don't know, We don't go send a boy to do a man's job. <laughs> like Come that. on now. I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> um, okay, and then it's uh, a good thing we don't know each other, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, exactly. Uh, the sheet metal. Um, so I when love it, it came to that stuff, it was like the idea is like try to make it look kind of like a. Drag racer, fuel cell. I had this flat fender that I, my buddy had that came off kind of this old drag bike. And I wanted to, I made a horseshoe oil tank. Um, you know, I made all this stuff from scratch. Just kind of like try to make it mimic sort of like a sportster tank, but, um, you know, a little bit of aluminum flare to it. Sportster tanks have a great shape to them. That's why everybody yeah, uses favorite. them. They're yeah. a wonderful yeah. shape. Yeah. It's Frisco mounted up nice and high. It mm -hmm. should hold a lot of lot of gas. Um, I'm gonna polish the aluminum to match the rest of the polish elements. They're, they're, they haven't hit the polisher yet, but they need a little bit of tuning up, and then, then they should be ready to go. And uh, paint the frame black and chrome these nice high pipes. Still, there's actually a lot of chrome that needs to go down, um, but it's getting pretty dang close. You know, you also we kind of skipped over it yeah. fast, Al. But it would be a nice thing to kind of show off oh, your yeah, tail yeah. light here yeah, for a minute. I think it's I think it's very cool. Those are my favorite tail lights, you know, like the. Uh, they're good. I always call them sports or tail lights, but I guess they came on pan starting in what fifty five or something. Uh, yeah, fifty five I think is when they came out, and they used them right up into the early seventies. Yep, RH fifty five. Oh yeah. But they probably have other numbers too, right? Well, like, yeah. This is an original piece of right. Uh, That's a lens real right guide here. lens. Yeah. Anyways, I made a little aluminum shell that fit, you know, and made it tiny and just welded it straight to the thing so I could use the stock Harley. And then it gets a little license plate frame bolts in right there. So, you know, cool. Should be kind of like well, sort just, of just for the record. Harley stuff. Guide was the subcontractor that made them for Harley Davidson. Right. And Guide was a division, I may still be, a division of Pontiac. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. Oh. Bit of trivia for you. I don't know nothing about those four-wheelers. <laughs> uh, this side of the bike's got a soft tail primary, which connects the motor and the Evo transmission, and got a, a Rivera Pro Clutch sitting over there. I'm kind of still working on this. It's a little rough looking, sorry, but it's going to be all welded and smoothed out. And 
mid shifts, you know, on the high foot peg, so it should put you in that little fight fighting position. And the bars are cool. You can't really see them from here, but those are uh, another thing from my childhood. Mid '90s motocross bars, or maybe is that by, what they are? Yeah, I was wondering what they are. The made way by they pro taper, so they're inch and one eighth in the center, and they taper down to seven eighths. And then, uh, yeah, I wish you could see the throttle; it's way up there. But maybe you can kind of come around, Mike, and check it out. So it's a PM, of course, lever, but I shorten the lever, and then it's like a 1950s era, you know, chopper throttle, quarter turn throttle, Quar oh, quarter, quarter yeah. turn, shortened way down. And then look, I the, had a quarter turn the, on my. The grip is a uh, drag special; these aluminum. <laughs> so the thing should be pretty, uh, oh, pretty be 90s meets mini. I don't know, like kind of choppered up. I. Uh... I had I got a, a matching set. I had a quarter so. turn quick throttle on my knuckle. Oh yeah. For about ten minutes. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> oh, every time I went over a bump. Yeah. I couldn't. Wow. I couldn't maintain it. You know, you, yeah. you go over a bump and all of a sudden the motor's racing. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't take much to bring my knuckle on. So I mean, it's like it hopefully comes this on. one runs as good that good. Oh, right? it'll. Oh, I think it'll be great. Yeah. Ah, this should be great. Nicely freshly rebuilt motor, polished cases, polished transmission. Well, you don't have to tell everybody that's in it what's in it. You yeah. know, I don't, they, uh, they can guess. Well, they, yeah. uh, you know. If they can catch me. I'm just kidding. Well, sure. Yeah, you know. <laughs> just listen to the pipes. They're they're right in front of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they should be pretty loud, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, well, yeah. I mean, it really <laughs> depends. You know, it, it all has to do with the combination you come up with. You know, you yeah. you go get a real long duration cam and a high compression, and all of a sudden you find out, well, it doesn't pop very loud. Well, not with all of that overlap in the in the valve timing. You know, mm -hmm. so so it's it's. But gee, it runs great at high speed. You yeah. know, what do you want out? And of I it, wanted you know? to put a two into one originally on it, but it's just kind of tight down up in there. And then I had nice. these chopper pipes, and I was like, well, I got a lot of drag stuff, performancey stuff going on. I want to get some chopper stuff mixed sure. in there too. So I had to kind of balance it out with the high bars and the chopper pipes and I chopper like the frame. Pipes. I like the I think pipes. I like the pipes a lot. I think they're going to look good when they're nice and. I think they'd be great. Up. And so what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to come back and see you probably in a couple weeks yeah yeah before born free yes. so when you all get all ready to go then we'll be here yeah can't wait and then we'll all listen to it make noise yeah i'm sorry music With push of a button too no kicking <laughs> push of a button i can't believe that yeah my first time <laughs> my first e-start only bike i find they're they're really kind of neat i mean it's kind of a nice convenience it's not it's not the only way, but it is a way. I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait. Well, all right. Right on. So we'll be seeing you soon then, Al. Yeah. And uh, everyone else, you know, we're going to Born Free. Hope to see you there. And on the way, we'll see you, see you out on the road. <laughs>